Teddy told me that in Greek, nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. It's a twinge in your heart, far more powerful than memory alone. This device isn't a spaceship. It's a time machine. It goes backwards, forwards. It takes us to a place where we ache to go again. It's not called the wheel. It's called the carousel. It let's us travel the way a child travels. Round and around, and back home again. place where we know we are loved. Now where was I? I wanted to talk about sometimes long nights and it's just part of the gig. I think, um, to be fair, I haven't been in other industries besides marketing and advertising, but sometimes it requires late nights, sometimes, and especially if you're a creative um, and there's a new business pitch or you're part of the new business team, sometimes you have to stay and make the edits. Working weekends, um, preparing for that, or a client presentation. So. It's just part of the gig. A lot of my friends have always asked me, like, why do I love this industry? Um, why do I kill myself for this? A lot of my friends always ask me to have a work-life balance. In fact, actually, hold on one second. That was a very heartful message from a friend. And I'm staying up at 12.38 a.m. creating a video, also wrapping up work waiting for feedback on stuff and tomorrow there's some deadline in and I still love it. Whether it's $100 or $100,000 or $100 million, somebody earned that money. Um, I, I don't take it lightly. And someone to give us the honor and privilege to figure out what's the best way to spend that, to give them the highest return, like I, 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 I honestly see no higher honor than that as a professional. I truly, truly believe Actually, I want to zoom in for this. I truly believe a lot of people in advertising don't really consider it an honor. They just do it to create really cool shit. They do it for kind of like a mental masturbation. But I actually take it really seriously, probably a little bit too seriously, on giving the client what they want because they're paying my salary. They're paying, paying our team salary. They're... I, 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 I don't know. It's... It shouldn't be about me, or it shouldn't be about awards or accolades. I don't know. Um, there's a implicit trust. There's a partnership, and um, I, I truly, and maybe I'm making advertising and marketing too big of a deal, but it's the reason why I don't mind working up this late. <sighs> I'm tired, but... I, I literally can't be complaining. You know how they say that um, when you find your passion or uh, what is it, you'll never work a day in your life if it's fun or whatever that saying is? Yep, I, I really am that. Um, a lot of people just don't know this, but I would have given up my left leg to be part of Agency World. I really would have. Um, like, you guys think I'm embellishing it, but ask literally anyone that I went to college with how much and how badly I've wanted this. Oh. All right, so why am I doing this? Why am I filming Agency Life Vlog at all even, right? I think it's a legitimate fair question that I was gonna actually have like an intro video kind of explaining everything and then I just worried about perfection. So I think 
Uh, if you guys wouldn't mind entertaining me for however many seconds this is, um, I'm gonna talk about it. So the cold hard truth, well, I made this for the people, if that makes sense. I made this for the entry level person, just like me, who was, who was so passionate but couldn't even get an interview, couldn't even get someone to open up an email. And I'm gonna share every single trick or share even the life of it. And um, I'm hoping it's valuable. Oh my God, this camera is definitely sliding. In agency life, you just don't get paid a lot. And a lot of people have a struggle of understanding like how to move up in the agency world. They're looking at jobs that they feel like they could be good for that have three to five years of experience, uh, five to seven, 10 years of experience. And they're like, I I'm two years out of college. I've been very fortunate to not only move up in the agency world quicker and get better experience and have great mentors. I've seen so many people leave and it kills me. Or so many people have bad managers and it leaves me. Or so many people that have the opportunity and just squandered away I remember I fought tooth and nail to just even get an opportunity in this industry and um, I've made a lot of mistakes along the way don't don't get me wrong this is not kind of like oh look what I've done I've made tons of mistakes so one of the things that I fundamentally didn't want to do is kind of preach here I didn't want people to say like um, or feel like this is the only way as if I'm like a preacher or someone with 40 years of experience that is just kind of saying this is the only way to do it this is sometimes what I struggle with because I'm kind of projecting to y'all what I think is a definition of success or how to move up in the agency world or how you make the most of it. It's the only way I know how to do it. This is the only way that my body reacts to it. And it's taking the years of experience that I have with management, with agency life, with talking to different recruiters, um, talking to colleagues, understanding the industry, and uh, producing content about it. Because if you really look like ad week, ad age, all those are really talking about agencies and who got promoted and which, which agency you stole another agency's account. It's not talking about the fundamental life here or even really teaching people how to um, talk to recruiters, how to write your resume. None of that is really talked about. And um, it's not just because I think it's a void. I think it's actually content that people wanna do. Um, I'm not a creative by any means, but I love the art of creating content. I love learning about it. This is why it makes me a better strategist. It makes me a better uh, media planner. Um, it makes me just a better social expert. Um, YouTube is totally different from Facebook. And the reason why I'm doing vlogs, and actually, I actually think this is going to do better on LinkedIn. So I got to figure out my YouTube and LinkedIn strategy, especially with new video now. Um, I'm going to be testing that. Um, more, more to come soon on that. But yeah, I didn't want to be preaching. Oh, it looks like my neighbor just came in. Um, so I think it's a good time to close it. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed episode three and um, episode four coming today.